Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today, we're going to continue with the Taste Like Music 2022 10 round bout, and this is rounds 5 and 6. So let's get right into it. This is a six pack reaction. I'll edit the videos down a little bit to keep the whole thing shorter. And we're gonna start with uh, Joe's pick, Juna Time. Now, she is probably the smallest artist. I've, I've looked on Spotify. She has only a few thousand, I think like 7,000 followers or something. It's, uh, you know, but uh, but yeah, you know, every big artist started small, right? So let's check this out. This is called Remember the Magic, Juna Time. Here we Let go. Let me see here. Yeah, oh, the wonderful one. Humor in this 80s throwback. Over again and again, never seeming to get tired. Working out my dance routine. I Yeah, I want to do a lyric dive, but it's hard to find her lyrics online, so... That's awesome. Okay. That's a long song. We are done it. Awesome. Hey, baby, let's go to Vegas. This is what we're coming I know. Well, she should Being definitely be bigger. Yes, she should definitely be bigger than she is. And I was looking at her channel. She does all sorts of covers. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. Um, so the rules here is we're going to score this on the 10 point must system like boxing. So Jason Joan crams. One will get 10 points, one will get 9 points, one will get 8 points. Unless I, unless you don't throw any punches, then I'll give you a 7. And we've done one seven so far. So anyhow, uh, that's the rules and we're just having fun with a little uh, boxing analogy here. And so hang on and we'll play the next video. So next is Diane Coffey, and Diane Coffey is not a woman, it's just an alter ego moniker for a, a, a solo project from Foxygen. And I, I don't remember the guy's real name, but he just goes by Diane Coffey. So this is Jason's pick, he's a big fan of uh, this. So this is a song called uh, Forecast. So let's go ahead and check this out. This is a first time reaction as well. Let's never do this again. But how about tonight? We try to be friends. Think that could be your right. God, I hate you. Won't you hate you? Let's drive to the park. Meet up with your friends, but the drunk on the 
harmonies but I actually love the video that was awesome so yeah I'll have to listen to the whole album to get a feel for uh, see how many different styles he has so yeah good stuff I enjoyed that so uh, hang on and we'll do video number three here and finish out round five right. and we'll finish out round uh, five here. Gosh, we're going through this fast. Round five. So this is Wet Leg from their album Wet Leg and their song Wet Dream. So this is uh, Kramser's pick. And this is the first time to listen to this band as well. that a lot as a that was a 
great rhythm section on that one. Man, that song just propelled, and I could understand every single lyric. She just crisp. Love that vocal production, her enunciation. So that was fun. Now, as for what the lobsters are all about, don't ask me. Yeah, Amish and lobsters. That's a combo I've not seen before. All right, so that ends round five, and... Hang on, we'll do three more videos for round six, and then we'll do a tier ranking. All right. Okay, now we're on round six, and uh, you're going to hear some background noise, some traffic noise, but it won't, it won't disturb my uh, reaction to these videos. So the first one up is from Joe. It's Jockstrap, and we have uh, reacted to Jockstrap previously, so this time I'm going to play concrete over water instead of Deborah and uh, if you want to see the reaction to Deborah it's a separate episode so here we go <laughs> Wow. <laughs> the vocal there are so many different styles of vocal production on here. Yeah, sometimes she sounded like she was singing in a box and, and there was all those interesting keyboard elements. Very different song than what I expected. Very different than Deborah. So uh yeah, this I'd have to do I have to do a lyric dive into this, which I did not do in advance. But uh I'll listen to this album separately and hang on and we'll do uh Jason's next pick. Alright, thanks. And next is the album that uh was on here twice, which is Michael Ralt. So we'll do one more video by him. This is uh Jason's pick. I've actually heard this song, but I've not seen the video. I lie beside your bed as he moves in you fully. Angry sky and angry sea, I let the waves subdue me. Crush me to the bottom, let the jagged rocks cut. I feel you let him in. Yeah. 
little throwback there to some old pop. All right, excellent. So next up is Zola Jesus, which is um, a singer-songwriter named Nicole Rose. I can't remember her last name, but this is her moniker, Zola Jesus, and this will be a first uh, reaction to anything by Zola Jesus. Sorry for the ads. <laughs> Looks expensive. The song is called Lost, as you can see. In my words, I found a To be spoken, both must die. As for your wisdom here, give me space to disappear. A lot of reverb on those uh, harmonies. A little bit creepy. Yeah, I could understand the words perfectly until they put all that reverb on the voice and then I couldn't understand what she was singing. But nice mood piece. All right. The so we will, um, and again, I'm experimenting with a new browser. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, uh, interesting piece. So I'm anxious to hear the rest of the album. So that's it for round round six and uh, 
I will go off and I will play these three albums in their entirety on Spotify, and I'll come back and we'll do a tier ranking. All right, thanks. Hi, it's Gene again, and so I'm ready for the tier rankings of rounds five and six. So here we go. So Joe started off with Juna Time, the minor artist who's interesting, and I'm going to give her a nine here. And then Jockstrap, which was his round six pick. Yeah, I was really surprised because I, I loved Deborah when we reacted to that. But uh, compared to the other two albums on this list, I'm going to put Jockstrap in the eight position. I know that's a little shocking. So anyway, I just, uh, that's the way that cookie crumbles, as they used to say. Uh, I probably dated myself there. So now uh, we go to Jason's picks. Um, Diane Coffey, the um, solo project from Foxygen. Now, I, I just don't love his voice. There's some really good production and everything on here, but and it's good and it's pleasant, but I'm going to put this in the eight spot. And then his other pick of Michael Ralt, even though we already reviewed that earlier. In fact, I pulled it down because uh, I don't have a second picture of it. Uh, we gave that a 9 last time. On this particular round, this goes to 10. I have really grown to like this Michael Rout a lot. Next is Kramzer's picks. Wet Leg. Wet Leg gets a 10. I loved Wet Leg. And then Zola Jesus gets a 9. And so there we are, and I'm going to have to clear out this uh, tier ranking for the next one because I can't quite get 10 albums across the top there and let you see it, you know, without making it really small. So the score right now, it's a tie between Kramzer and Jason at 55 points apiece. Again, this is on the 10-point must system, and Joe's at 51. So at this point, with only four rounds left, I actually don't think Joe can catch up. He'd have to probably get tens all the way from here on out. So sorry, Joe. Uh, I do agree with your taste a lot of times, but apparently not in 22. I feel kind of bad about that, but that's the way it is. So thanks for joining me here on the channel. If you like what we're doing, a senior reacting to the new music of the 21st century, hit that like or subscribe button. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.